Okay, back again. Playing with the whole brooch concept. I've got a piece of 5 16 mild round. That's all I have. I have to make a run tomorrow. Well, hopefully the weather's nice. Nicer than it was tonight coming home from work. Still playing with this new anvil here. I'm trying to, to decide how much I need to uh, radius the edges. So I'm kind of playing with what's been radius and what hasn't. I mean, it's darn sharp. And I wanted to actually see if it would fuller all the way around, which it did. But of course, it was a kind of a, a V shape. That's the new version of my little blacksmith's helper. I knew I would have to put something on the bottom of it to fit the new anvil. So while I was at it, I just rebuilt it. The other one uh, just had a pin in it, a 5 8 pin that dropped down into the one of the hardy holes, or uh, one of the pritchel holes on my old anvil. This one I wanted to sit in the hardy hole, so just remade it. It needed it. Now this is going to be a penanular brooch. It's going to have a leaf. Right now just continuing to separate the mass, reducing the stem here. Whatever you want to call it. Not really a flower. Again, it's one of those situations where I'm not quite sure how much I'll need, so I'm going to take a good amount so I don't have to redo it. But I'll try to get close the first time. I think I've decided that I really missed the, the radius that was on the other anvil. And I'm going to put it right about where you see me drop my hammer. Right about there. On both sides. Since that's where the meat of the anvil is. And that's where I would be doing most of my drawing out. Now, I wanted to test this out. I thought maybe it'd be a fool's errand to uh, try to round something up when you're still hitting it with a hammer. But surprisingly, it did, did pretty good. I have a uh, use for this coming up, and I just kind of wanted to see how effective it would be to kind of get everything back into shape.
see I'm gonna have to run another splotch of weld along the outside of the hardy shank of that that came from of course the other anvil the other anvil was uh, the hardy hole was a bit smaller than this one and well some of the other stuff that I've already modified to fit this worked really well just to run a few beads of weld down all four sides and then grind them flat now this is just for another project but I figured while I had the fire going to get it done I need this uh, leaf spring to be flat and of course they're never flat Hopefully I don't have the same problem I've had the last three edits, the last three videos, where somehow my sound just is not, it's, it's, it's compressing. Um, <clears throat> I know when I start and I know when I end and I talk the entire time, yet when I overlay it onto the video, It's off. <laughs> now the first first few, but like I said, it's only happened in the last three videos, so I don't know why it's happening. But I did read somewhere it could have something to do with oh <clears throat> the profile for this is full HD at twenty nine ninety seven frames per second, and it could be the difference between the the point nine seven in the 29 and and just a plain flat 30 Starting to like that little tray I added to my anvil stand. The only thing is I gotta make sure that it's not, you know, too far forward. It's on a swivel. As last week I walked right into it, my shin walked right into it. And it did not swivel out of the way when I hit it.
Today was actually the first real cold day that we've had so far this year. I know some people would probably say that it's been cold for a month, but actually when I got outside of, from work, it was snow on my windshield, so I, I'll use that as the qualifier. I was just thinking about that because I'm, I know I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to warm up that camera tomorrow before I use it. The final dimensions of this are just a little under quarter inch around. I've never worn one, but I would imagine that like anything else, you're going to want You're going to want it to be as light as you can make it. Ah, yes. This is part of the project, that other project that I'm going to be working on. I'm going to make a pair of, a new pair of cutters that actually aren't cutters. I'm going to use them as uh, <clears throat> dies. Those cutters there are easy enough to replace. And that uh, spring steel is certainly uh, strong enough. I'll harden and temper it. And we'll just make um, you know some simple dies out of it. got plenty of leaf spring right now. Right now I'm trying to recover that little area just after the leaf. When I was testing the, the sharpness of the anvil earlier, it actually cut through pretty far. I don't want to lose it, so what I did was I took the diameter down until it was equal to the depth of cut. So that there's no longer there's no longer any cut there. It's your leaf. If you make one of these, make it however you want to make it. Don't let anyone tell you it's got to look a certain way. You could darn near do that blindfolded and then go outside and find something to match it.
I will tell you tomorrow I'm going to start an elephant head brooch. But I need to get some stock before I do anything. been working with this stuff hot all the time and I, I don't bother to cool it off too much. It's been a lot easier to do cool. I'm afraid to touch it. Okay, that was with a wire brushing, or a wire wheel type brushing. See, so I'm just a little worried that, like, with mild steel, you know, you don't want the thing to rust while they're wearing it. And I just... I've, I've got some stainless steel that came. I just, I don't like shiny, and... You know, it's, I guess it's, it's got to kind of be shiny. I don't know. I don't know what other people like. Just trying to figure out you know how it's gonna end up shape wise if it's gonna end up the way I want it. in there right
Go ahead, touch it. Tell me if it's hot. You know, it might help if I if I ever wore jewelry in my life, but I just really never have. Remember when I was like ten, I got this ring out of a gumball machine. <laughs> I wore it like every day, you know, but at some point I lost it. Pretty sure it was just plain old. Yeah, no, it was probably less than mild steel. <laughs> probably like tin. Not really sure what I'm doing. <laughs> Just do a project and move on, but uh, looks like I'm pointing it out. I'm starting to get an eye for this, though. Just something I never thought I'd get. Kind of fun. Oh, well, uh, I guess I put a curly on it. Kind of something to draw the eye. They started that curly and worked their way out. Hey, I'm doing better at being able to show it to the camera.
I think this is the pin. Pretty simple concept there. That little step down allows you to make a nice wrap around without taking up too much real estate. Give it a brushing. Find the camera. There we go. That was fun. Like, subscribe, and share for more videos.